and the whole weekend having uh, thousands and thousands of people come out and, and thrill in the third dimension. And I've been lucky enough as an astronaut to, to go around the world 2,600 times and see that third dimension like almost no Canadian ever has. And so for me to, to be able to be a link between life here in Gatineau and the Ottawa Valley with the immensity of, of not just the atmosphere but the universe beyond it, uh, to me that, that's all just fun. Canada builds airplanes on its own, uh, but they also buy airplanes from other countries. And when you buy something, there's sales. And of course, uh, something as complex and capable as a new fighter, it's a big decision for uh, for us to make as a, as a group of people. We went through the same sort of process when we decided to buy the F-18 back in the late 1970s. Um, you really want to think about it. And you want to buy the airplane that's right for Canada. And so, a very strong contender for a lot of years in the F-35. Today we'll all get a very visceral chance to see just what that airplane can do. Have you had a chance to look it up first? F-35? No, I, I, uh, I retired from the Air Force uh, before we uh, we were getting close to um, looking at it. So no, I'm, I've am i flown about a hundred different types of airplanes. I would love to fly an F-35, but I think they only make single-seaters and no one's asking me to fly it. Wait, you'd be open to an invitation? Well, yeah, I've flown lots of airplanes. I was one of Canada's test pilots, and, and I was the pilot of a Russian spaceship, and so any new vehicle is always fun, a real good intellectual and physical challenge, but also just a really interesting experience. So, yeah, I'd love to. Thank you, sir. Are you asking? <laughs>